Just going to show you a really quick way of controlling blood loss from a leg using only your hands and fingers. Advantage being you don't need any equipment and you can do it within just a few seconds. So I've got Hamish here helping me who's a, a pretend casualty and we're going to um, have the, a, a notional right injury, to, an injury to the right foot or lower leg that's losing a lot of blood. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to control that blood loss with your fingers. When you're doing this technique in training, it is quite an intimate um, place you're examining, so it's worth just checking you're okay with the casualty, which, which I've done. The, the places where you put your hands are really key, and so is your hand position. The hand position wants to be with your index fingers vertical and your thumbs pointing at each other, nice and square like that. And the two places you're looking for are the crest of the hip on the side of the casualty, roughly around the belt line, and then the second position is right up right up high in the groin and this is the intimate bit so right up high in there if you're shy you won't find the right place and the technique won't work so again my hands are in that position crest of the hip right up in the groin I'm going to point my thumbs at each other and ap apply pressure in the midpoint of that line between my thumbs here the pressure you're applying is firm but not hard and it shouldn't hurt the casualty to do this I can feel the femoral artery in the right side of the groin underneath my thumbs and I can quite happily compress it which would reduce significantly the blood loss from any injury below that point. There are other arteries that feed the leg so I wouldn't expect all bleeding to stop but this is the main artery so pressure here is going to really reduce bleeding. So to prove that the technique works in reality and that I do get rid of the circulation I'm going to get Caroline to come and feel Hamish's foot pulse to confirm that he's got a foot pulse before I start then I'm going to do my technique and see if I can stop it. So Caroline's going to find a foot pulse for us. So there's two foot pulses. The first is the posterior tibial which we can find just between the medial ankle joint and the heel and just run our finger down along that line. It lies just behind and at the bottom of that ankle joint and Hamish has got a nice pulse there. The second one is the dorsalis pedis, which runs along the top of the foot. And if we start between the big toe and the second toe, and just run three fingers down along that line, you feel a nice pulse. And Hamish has got very easily palpable pulses in both of those locations. Okay, so Caroline, if you can pick one of those pulses and let me know when you're happy that it is there and you can feel it easily. Yep, I've got my finger on the pulse behind the ankle. Okay, so hands in the correct position, crest of the hip, top of the groin, pushing the midpoint, and I can feel the femoral artery underneath. What's happened to the pulse? The pulse has disappeared. And now? And it's back. So in conclusion, a really easy, quick um, and simple technique to make a big difference to blood loss in the lower limb.